the purpose of this tutorial is to provide a field technician information on how to do a major repair to our gun rack locking system. Most minor issues with the lock can be solved from the front and there is another tutorial on our YouTube page that explains how to do front repairs to this lock. Certain issues, however, require that we work on this lock from the back. And this tutorial is to teach you how to do that and to reassemble this in the correct manner. The tools required for this will be a 7 8 inch deep well socket, a 7 16 inch wrench, and you will need a drill or screwdriver with a Phillips tip. The way this lock works is that there are eight positions and each position has a key. There is also a master key which is the red key. We encourage you before you start anything to understand which lock position the baton lock currently is in. When they leave the factory they are set at position one. When they get to the store it has changed to one of these eight other positions and you need to know that up front. The first thing you will need to do is take this off the unit. Along the top there is a series of holes with a Phillips head screw that screws it to our cabinet. Also along the bottom edge you'll see the same holes. These screws all need to be removed. Based on the version some of these will also have a hole in the center of the pan and that is going to be located under the rubber mat that goes on top of this. You'll need to remove the rubber mat to get to that screw. So if you remove the top and the bottom and it still won't come out, pull up the rubber and remove the screws from underneath them for the rubber mat. The unit should now be loose and able to be taken off the unit. We encourage you to have a blanket for wherever you're going to set it. It will protect the finish on the gun metal and will also protect the surface below. When it's off, you will see that the shackles penetrate through and behind you can see the lock pod assemblies from behind. Now we're going to specifically talk about how you do a repair on one of these locks. So let's move over here to our sample. The first thing that we need to understand is what position is this lock in? And knowing that this is my sample, I know that it's on key one. And you can see that the correct movement of the key is counterclockwise and that allows the removal of the shackle. From behind, you will see that the key movement rotates the cam which engages the spring. The cam in the up position allows the shackle to be removed. The first thing you'll want to do is remove all your shackles. With the shackle removed, we see the head of the nut that we're going to be working on, and our goal is to get to the lock body underneath. Removal of this is rather straightforward. First, we're going to loosen the 7 16 nut on the top, removing the nut. Next, you will find a locking spring washer. We will remove that. Taking the key on the other side, we're going to again unengage this lock, which will allow us to remove the spring and let that hang, and then remove the cam. Right now, we want you to take very close notice of this stop washer and the position that the stop washer is in. The full return side should be up against the shackle collar here. This stop washer can stay in for now, don't lose it. We're now going to engage with the 7 8 deep well socket and we're going to loosen up the gold nut. The gold nut off allows us to remove the lock. Again, this is the lock orientation and take notice of the position of the stop washer. The stop washer can go on either way and depending on whether it goes on this way or this way will tell the lock which way it spins to engage the cam. If you put the stop washer on backwards, what you will see is after you reassemble it, you will get no movement on the key even though you know you're using the correct key. 
spinning that stop washer around will get, allow the lock to rotate the opposite direction and once again engage the cam. When you have your new lock that's been provided by AFI, you're going to take it out of the bag, understanding where position one is north you will put the stop washer on in this orientation. One is up, and this is the back. This is probably the most important thing to remember. The rest of it's pretty self-explanatory. That can go on now, or it can go on later, and then this will leave it off. We're gonna reinsert the lock, putting on the nut, the gold nut, Tighten that down. One thing to remember when you do this, from the plant, we do put a spot of Loctite on these nuts so that they don't back out. As a technician in the field, we also ask that before the insertion of this lock that you put a little bit of Loctite on it to make sure that this always maintains its correct orientation to the face. Remembering the cor correct orientation of the stop washer, we place that over the cam stud then we must put the cam back in. The hole on the cam goes to the top. Once again, the easiest way is to spin our lock a little bit so I can get the cam on and then drop it back down and remove the key. Now it's a spring washer to lock it in place. And finally, we are going to secure the cam with the 7 16 inch nut on top. Once that's tightened, we need to re-engage the spring. It can go on either way, just not that way. And this lock is repaired. Now, if you have installed a lock that came from AFI for a repair, it's going to be sent to you in position number one. Back at the beginning of this tutorial, I asked you to figure out from the store which current key combination they are using. So let's reset this lock now. We're going to assume for this tutorial that the store is currently using key number four. First of all, we will confirm that we have the stop washer on the correct way. The lock is rotating counterclockwise. I feel it engaging the spring from behind. This lock is correctly installed and in position number four. Position one, pardon me. Now, knowing that the store is position four, always the serial number oriented to the floor, we will insert it one and turn it two, three, four. Now you'll grab the store key, confirming you have key number four, and you will check that. And as you can see, key number four is engaging that lock. Going back to key number one, key number one does not engage the lock. At this point, you know that you've installed the lock correctly and it has been reset to the store's combination that they are currently using. If there are any questions about this, please give AFI a phone call. We can talk you through some of the technical difficulties of uh, making this repair. My name is Stephen Beauvais. I'm the engineering manager. Call me at 719-963-2317 and we'll help you as best we can. Thank you.